the lotions no 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 Welcome back to my channel. It's Elizabeth Marie and I'm back with another video and today As you can tell from the title I threw all my lotions Away Well, not really I gave them to my sister and you might be thinking like why there's like over 50 lotions from Bath and Body Works, why did you throw it away? And the answer to that is because they have silicones in them just like the other video that I did and I explained why I was getting rid of all of my shampoos and conditioners that I had that I just had to do without because I figured out a better routine, better method, better products to care for my hair. Now it's a little different when it comes to the lotions and everything. Um, I did throw those all out, but I did keep all of. I just tell you, I did keep all the perfumes. So here's one bucket. Ooh. Here's second bucket, and there's actually some more just lying around here, just they're all over the place. But yeah, so just think about it. I had a matching lotion, and then I had ha half of those had matching body uh, body scrubs with them as well. It's a lot. That's a lot that I have thrown out, and I have a great reason as to why. Yes, they have silicones, but my reason for it was because I've had, I've noticed my skin, like, very, very itchy, starting to break out, patches of red spots and stuff, and I've had, like, um, I'm trying to explain it, like, yes, acne, like, I had a lot of acne, especially, like, around the shoulder area, um, but as far as, like, on my arms like my arms was like the main thing I my shoulders my arms or like the main areas like it was on my arms it was like my skin would just itch all the time all the time and it will I would be itching and scratching so much it turned red it would start to raise a little bit become bumpy and I never understood why so when I went through the whole transition of my conditioners and my shampoos I also like when when I was reading it I had found like the silicones and everything when I'm putting conditioner in my hair that could be causing some of the back me I was getting and I'm like really this is interesting so I did more research and stuff and on the ingredients of silicones or whatever and it's clogging it's clogging you know the pores and everything and I use lotions all the time I lose them all day I use them throughout the day and the thing is this like when I first started using Bath and Body Works or the lotions that I got rid of they weren't all Bath and Body Works it was just the majority of them were I didn't have that issue it was like over time and I, I noticed this probably about two years ago just started itching and then recently it was like more and more and more and then it was like this is ridiculous what is going on why am I so itchy all the dang on time and you know I don't I was thinking like I don't know maybe I'm allergic to something maybe it's dust or something or whatever but when I did the whole when I got rid of those conditioners and shampoos and I had did the research on silicones that's when I was like okay I'm going to go with I'm not going to use these lotions for a while I was I was a little ashy a little rough around the edges for a little bit but I wasn't itching anymore my breakouts were clearing up after a couple weeks they were clearing up so I'm like oh 
huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of these. So, you know, initially I was gonna throw them out. Um, I'm gonna ask my sister, I text her, I was like, do you have a reaction to like silicones or anything like this? Your Bath and Body Works lotions making, doing anything to your skin? Um, Cause she does have sensitive skin, but it's not hurting, affecting her in any way. Um, so this video, this video is not too like shiny one away from Bath and Body Works or any products that uh, are lotions that have silicones. Um, by all means, if they're working for you and you're not getting a reaction out of it, keep using it. I want to keep using Bath and Body Works, but I can't. I is just messing up my skin and I'm just itchy and it's really uncomfortable. Um, like, I've had hives. I'm allergic to penicillin and I don't remember how old I was. I was probably like 16. Um, I was given some medicine. It was penis It was like a generic version of penicillin. And I broke out in hives like all over. Like the itchiness was not that bad, um, but it was constant like that. I used to use this. I don't know why I stopped. This is Nivea and it does not have any silicones in here. Silicones are the only thing that I've been staying away from with lotions and stuff. And let me tell you, it is hard. Any of the other Nivea products has silicone, like the other scents. Cause there was like a, I don't remember, it was like a cucumber or shea butter or something. It was different, it was not the original. It ha They had silicone, so I was like, okay. I'm okay with the Nivea, the original, but I like trying new scents and everything. So that was one that I found. And I believe it's like $9 maybe, I forget. Um, and another one is the next thing I found. Um, first, let me say, Nothing on Bath and Body Works that I find without silicones. They're all the same. So there was nothing there. The body, uh, the body butters, the bo the lotions, all that. They all had it in the body washes. So I couldn't get those. But I will continue to buy their other products, like their fragrances, their candles, and everything like that. But the next thing I found was at Sephora, and this the brand Fresh. And they have two different uh, scents. And this one is the uh, Hesperides Grapefruit Body Lotion. And it's with citrus fruit extracts. And this one, if I recall correctly, was $21. Now I bought, I normally would, I'm. Okay, um, I'm usually budget friendly, okay? I don't got all the money in the world to just be bowling out on lotions, okay? That cost, uh, I forget, it was like $16, $18, something like that. Um, so I bought it only because, you know, I didn't see anything else. And I actually seen this before I actually found Nivea. Well, not really find Nivea, but actually looks at the ingredients with Nivea. So this was the first one. And it's very, you can definitely tell. It's like a natural smell. It definitely has the uh, citrus extract smell. Now this next one, okay, was found at Ulta. And this is Ulta brand. The lotions, no. No, 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 no. Body lotions, no. But their body butter, body butter, phenomenal. And they do not have silicones and I love it. Um, I've only found two different scents, which is coconut cream and sugared vanilla. And you might be thinking like, you just threw out like 50 of those and now you're buying like several different lotions. Why do you need so many lotions? I don't like smelling the same, okay? Don't judge me. I don't like smelling the same. But ever since I have done that, I don't, it don't itch. I don't itch anymore and my back knee has definitely cleared up and I have not been itching my my arms or anything anymore like it's definitely I strongly believe that that's has helped me now you might be thinking like okay you you wear makeup matter of fact I'm wearing makeup right now a little bit and yes they do have silicones but I don't wear makeup every day and Finding good makeup 
that actually lasts and looks good. It's very hard to come by when it's silicone free and things like that. And I am looking and I'm doing my research because I don't want to just ball out on a bunch of stuff and not really buy it thinking that it's one thing and it turns out okay it actually does. So I'm still looking. I'm trying to figure that so out. So I'm okay with you know, my makeup for now because I don't wear makeup every single day. Lotions I use every single day. So, yeah. I do break out my face. I don't know if it's from, you know, the hair products. I don't know if it's because of the makeup or what it is, but it's not as bad as it used to be when I was way younger, you know, like when I was a teenager and stuff. So, I wear makeup moderately and sparingly. Um, now, this also goes hand in hand with my like body washes be right back i forgot to bring those so let me go get those right now all right i am back so this also goes hand in hand with like facial washes so though i don't have makeup substitutes right now um it's not a big deal i don't use those all the time but i do wash my face all the time so i have two products I have the Oil Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Foaming Scrub by Neutrogena. And then I have Benefits Cleanse Foaming Clean Facial Wash. Now, this I believe was like $9 and this is like $22. And this is the first product I've ever bought with Benefit and I don't regret it. This was actually recommended to me by an Ulta, uh, what do you call them? A uh, Ulta associate, okay? <laughs> and basically when I went to go find, I was like, I am having a hard time finding a facial wash that doesn't dry me out. And also with one that's not gonna make me oily. And my skin's very oily. I do get pat dry patches um, from time to time, but it's usually I think it's because of the facial washes I was using. Um, and it was. So basically, and I did not know this, I didn't know about the ingredients or anything like that back when she recommended this to me. Now, before I had bought this one, my when I restocked on it, I did look at the ingredients because that's when I was doing all this, like getting rid of things and bringing in new stuff um does not have sulfates sulfates are going to dry my face out and yes i'm oily but it dry sulfates dry my skin tremendously like over dries the heck out of my skin like i'll have dry patches around my lips under my eyes around my nose my eyebrows like like it's disgusting um and then neutrogena this is an acne wash and I use this like on my shoulders and then also on my face only when I'm breaking out. I do not use it when I'm not breaking out. I use this when I don't have breakouts. I use this when I do have breakouts. And usually when I use Neutrogena and I break out, I only have to use it for two days and then I can go back to using this. It clears it up that quick for me. These have been working great for me. And if you're having any issues, if you know that you're allergic to silicones, uh, then try some of these. Like, like I said, this one's gonna be your most expensive and it is the most natural. And then Ulta, I believe it was like, if I remember correctly, only like, six dollars i might have bought it when they had the little three for six three for ten type of thing um but i believe it was like six normally and i don't have the retail price sticker or anything like that on here but i believe it's like six dollars so that was a great buy so i would say this one's the cheapest one it doesn't have any silicones in it and you can find this at ulta um the last time i went they only had two but they were also out of a lot of stuff so they might have other scents if you go to your local ulta this was found at Sephora. This can be found at your local drugstore, as a Walmart, Meyer Kroger, all of that. So, yeah. This is my reason why, and I have a great reason for it. It wasn't because it's harmful to everybody or anything. It's just I specifically have a reaction to it, and I just found that 
going to a product that does not have silicones and sulfates they work better for me and my skin type I'm not I didn't think I had sensitive skin but I guess maybe I do and but then again I don't know because my sister has sensitive skin but this stuff doesn't I don't know maybe I have a thing with silicones I don't know but hopefully this helped you guys if you're having any issues breakouts itchiness or anything and you're trying to find products that work best because it's super duper hard to find give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you ha are going through the same thing and none of these products you're using but you do have some that actually work for you let me know down below and i'll give it a try um but that's it for this video guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Dice is on the